Huh? But we don't have any weapons! 
No problem. We are disciples after all. Here goes. Eat fist, monster. Go. Oh. Clutch. Ow. Man, this thing's good. Put you right where I want you. Huh? I can't. Crap. I was hurt more than I thought. No, Fuko, it's too dangerous. Stay back. strong. Thank you so much. I only just got to this place, and I thought I was already gonna die. Thanking him is good and all, but maybe you should at least stand up first. I mean, we can see up your skirt. Huh? <laughs> Ow! You screamed louder than when you were being attacked by the monster. here too. We were on the same boat from the mainland. Mm -hmm. I'm Fuko. It's nice to meet you. Yeah! It was amazing how you defeated those monsters. Since we've all been given the gift of the brand, we should follow your example. The Star God sure is cruel think he would give us such heavy burdens when we should be enjoying youth. I mean that moment when you look down and see the brand suddenly on your arm. You realize that you have to toss your whole life away and move to this island. No. You're a good one, aren't you? Anyway, once we get to the city, we've got to go to the church to be tested, right? They'll tell us what rank of disciple our star energy makes us. I'm so nervous. Well, there's no doubt that I'm going to be an S rank. Elite class all the way. Huh? Isn't that the class of only the most distinguished disciples and leaders? Yep, that's right. Elites are the best of the best. That's why they're called it. Hmm? Well, it's in my blood, so never mind. Let's get going. Come on.
Chosen disciples, we stand in a branch of the church located at the center of the fort city. I, Matero, am the high priest leading this church. Is the high priest someone important? I've heard that they're the most important people in the churches in each area. Guess that makes him pretty important then. Now, first I must ask that you three show proof that you are indeed... <laughs> indeed, you are all disciples, guided here by the hand... For the past 20 years, the people of the world have lived in fear. I believe there is no need to explain, but it is your duty to exterminate the creatures of dusk with your whole... Understood. Hmm. I expect great... Um... What is it? This holy power only disciples have? Exactly what is... Good heavens. Didn't your school teach you anything? Very well. Listen closely. The Dusk Circles have been appearing in this world over the past 20 years. The monsters that poured forth from them raised havoc among the people. These creatures could not be defeated with the meager amount of star energy we had. But the Star God began to lend his might to a... In bestowing you disciples with holy power, he marked you with the st Now, listen carefully. The creation of the Dusk Circles is a direct result of man's growing desires. The first Dusk Circle appeared here on this island and rep Accordingly, Dusk Circles representing the seven deadly sins appeared. Well then, now you must go to the research lab to take your qualifying exams. Ooh, it's finally time. I have high hopes that you will all be selected as the elite nemesis hunters. Hmm? It means those who hunt with vengeance. It's become a nickname for the elite class. As I have said, the qualifying exam is held at the Angel Marker. Go there and seek out Chief Ruby, who is in charge of administering the examination. We'll do our best. My, we have some truly, uh, <clears throat> well-developed female disciples. Huh. You think so? I'm all right. Cool. This is... It sure looks like the place. Hey. Hmm? Who may you be? We are new disciples, here to take the qualifying of new disciples. Oh, good. I'm Mark, a researcher here. Nice to meet you. Chief Ruby, the disciples have arrived. Ah, oh, welcome. I'm the chief researcher here. Good stars, that is one star. Clots, your inner thoughts are falling out through your mouth. You're an honest young lad. I like that. I might have a nice reward for you later. Seriously? Don't tease the new meat, Ruby. I know, I know. So, you're the new disciples that were scheduled for today. Matero's told us about you. I've already confirmed your identities with your names and faces. I hope we get along. It's nice to meet you. Let's see. Is there anything you'd like to know before we administer the exam? Sure. What's this? Sure.
Is there anything else you'd like to ask? Sure. What's that? Sure. Anything else you'd like to ask? Sure. I'm all right. Let's move on to the qualifying exam then. Clot, you're first, then Fuko, and you will be last. Got it. All right! S rank, here I come. There, you're done. You are in the elite class, Clot. Your rank is B. Congratulations. Seriously? I'm not an S rank? No way! That's still impressive. You're an elite. Don't you think so, too? Definitely. Huh? Really? Well, I mean, yeah! That was a piece of cake for me. Let me add that your ether count is 60. Male disciples average around 50. So it is rather impressive. You're next, Fuko. Come on into the simulator. I'll do my best. Impressive results. She's a great deal of star -ish. Amazing, Fuko. You're not only an elite as well, but you're an S rank. Seriously? <laughs> Me? An S rank? The only thing I'm good at is swimming. This is some kind of joke, right? Physical fitness isn't an indication of a disciple's natural gifts. And according to the church's records, female disciples with a great deal of star energy are more likely to be s -ring. The Academy now has another s -ring disciple among its ranks. This is a great day. Whoa! Would I really be okay being an s rank? Man, I'm so jealous. You're seriously lucky. Let me make it clear that luck has nothing to do with a disciple's rank. Well, you're last. We've had a good run today, so let's finish this with a bet. We're going to use a simulator to examine you. When the holographic target is displayed, attack it with all your might. We will monitor that and calculate your abilities. Let's get started. I go. Next. Yeah. Next. Yeah. We pulled through. All right, the exam is done. You're an A-rank elite. <sighs> That's higher than mine. Uh, not bad, man. Damn. We're all elites. Don't start complaining about not being super on your first day. You're right. Hold on a moment. Before you exit the simulator, we're going to calculate your ether count. Hmm? What's this? What's wrong? What the? His ether count is... 
It's more than 1,500. It's off the scale. Is the vending malfunctioning? No, this isn't a malfunction. His body is generating a fantastic amount of ether. You're kidding, right? This is over 30 times the average ether count. The ether detector can't take anymore. Hmm. Don't tell me. Is this boy... He has to be. He's the one the church has been waiting for. He's a god's gift. Huh? As you know, ether density is extremely low within dusk circles. That's why disciples can't use their star energy in them and can't fight properly. Because of this, we've only been able to intercept monsters that leave the circles. But your body is naturally exuding an incredible amount of ether. So much so that it's possible to create a battlefield within the dust circles. What's that? It means that you can fill the space around you with ether even inside the circles. So much so that you can use star energy there. If other disciples and star children are by your side, they can fight as well. That sounds great! He's the greatest ray of hope since the dusk circles were born. Really? I've never even heard of such a thing until now. There's never been a male disciple who created this much ether. Never. You truly are a gift from God. How could this happen? Man, I have some amazing classmates. Since you're a God's gift, I'm going to give you this. This is an ether amp. It's a special device that male disciples with high ether counts can equip. All weapons you use while using this will be strengthened further by your ether. That's so cool. I want one too, Chief Ruby. Your ether count isn't high enough to make it effective. You won't get any result from having one. I... Oh. And Fuko, this is for you. These are Dusk Breakers. They're advanced weapons that compress the wielder's star energy into coherent energy. Wow, that's awesome! These are specially made for S-rank disciples with high amounts of star energy. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that they've been made for people like you. Oh, I hope I'll be able to master such expensive looking- One more thing about the ether amp and the Dusk Breakers. This is an innovative feature, so I hope I don't gush over it too much. Activating it during battle absorbs holy power from the wielder's brand. It then envelops the user's body with a combat suit. In other words, it puts you into battle mode. That's so cool! You can even transform in a fight too? Chief Ruby, please, I really want one too. You will be issued a mass-produced dust breaker later. That's not fair. I say this is rank discrimination. Chief Ruby, I've finished the report to the church. Thanks. I'm sorry for the trouble, but we'd like you to return to the church right now. It seems Matera wishes to speak with you regarding class meeting. Class whatting? Oh. Right. Let's hurry back to the old guy's place. Klotz, we were told that you don't need to come. Huh? Why not? The church wants to analyze the star conception rate of God's gift and s ranks That's not cool. This really is rank discrimination. Also, you three are all second years, correct? The elites are divided into one class per year, so you'll all be in the same class. Make sure you get along well together. Now hurry up and get going. I'm sure Matero is waiting for you. Got it. You all right? Huh? Huh. That's not 
れ。Fuko, the S-rank female disciple, and the god's gift. Welcome back, the two of you. Ah, so this is the god's gift. The star god has finally graced us with a god's gift. God's gift and Fuko? We would like you to immediately try to classmate with each other. I can understand your anxiety at the current situation. But, as you know, classmating is a holy ritual to create star children. The male's ether and the female star energy are entwined with bonds. Pouring this energy into the star womb Matroshka creates these holy children. I do understand that the ritual is necessary for us to win peace in the world, But my heart isn't ready yet. I'm sorry, but... I see. I understand. Then, while you are thinking, I will go over the details of class mating. Is there anything you'd like to review about the class mating ritual? Sure. What's this? Have any other questions? Sure. What's this? Do you have any other? Sure. What's that? Have any other questions? Sure. I'm all right. But we can expect a. We would definitely like to see some good results from you. Are you prepared, Fuko? Yes. We will now begin the class meeting. I will take full responsibility and watch over the ritual between you two. Now, proceed as I taught you earlier.
Oh, is this true? Yes. This is unbelievable. Good star. Triplets on the very first attempt? Oh, that's an unbelievable... The amount of ether produced guarantees a star child with an S-ranked female disciple. Ruby, when did you get... I had an interest in this experiment, too. I decided to observe and take readings. What? You dare call this holy right and... Ah, uh, forgive me. But don't these results satisfy you, too? Indeed. I am extremely pleased. Oh, Star God, we are truly thankful for your gift. We will now be able to exterminate the monsters within the Dusk Circles. Ah. Phew. Foucault. Well done, you two. If your bond becomes stronger, even stronger star children will be born. Keep this up and get along with each other. Oh, um, yes. You are free to use this shrine if you need to perform class mating from here on. Disciples with high conception rates. Are Understood. Well, you two, considering where we are, I'll guide you to the Fort City's defensive line now. Oh, you'll need to change before that. You're in the standard class uniforms. Here are your elite class uniforms. Once you've changed, let's regroup. Still, I am truly envious of youth. If I was a disciple, I'm sure I would have enough ether for a legion of children. Don't you two look smart in your new uniforms? Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Chief Ruby. Thanks. Yes, well, now that you're here, let me give you the grand tour. This is the top of the fourth city. We're at the defensive line here. It's been nicknamed the Original Core. Look down from here. What you see in the water is the world's first and largest dusk circle. The church calls it the Pandora Labyrinth, by the way. Giving it a name makes it easy to remember, so go ahead and call it that as well. How frightening. So this is the first dusk circle that appeared 20 years ago. There are eight dusk circles in the world right now, including this one. Of those, two have become active. That is, they fully materialized as labyrinth. This one has remained dormant, however. This one is still what's nicknamed a circle scene, an inactive dusk circle. Still, because of its powerful energy, monsters are slowly pouring out of it. No. There is a reason why you can already see it so clearly. The dusk energy here is extremely powerful compared to other dusk circles. And? As you can see, the mouth of the castle wall is lined by a magic wall. We are fully equipped with a system to intercept any monsters as well. Even then, some monsters occasionally do get past them. So the monsters that attacked us when we got off the boat must have been some of those. You were attacked by monsters? That's odd. We haven't received any reports that monsters escaped the defensive line. Could they have come from one of the nests on the island? What the? The active circles on the continent shoot out pods filled with monsters called nests. They sometimes make it all the way to the island, but it's very rare.
Chief Ruby, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Ah, here you are. Let me introduce you. This is another S rank in the second year. That means we'll be in the same class. I'm Fluco. It's nice to meet you. I'm Alec. Another S rank, huh? So I'm told. I'm a little worried if I'll be of any use, though. You shouldn't be so naive. Such thoughts on the battlefield will only lead to death. You're right. <laughs> it's not funny. Oh, right. Yeah. So, you're God's gift. What's that? No, it's nothing. Why don't you have Alec guide you from here on? I may not look it, but I'm rather busy. See you later. You need a tour, huh? Okay, come with me. Is there anything you'd like to know about the Fort City while we're here? Sure. What's this? Got it. Thanks. Any other questions? Sure. What's that? Got it. Thanks. Any other questions? Sure. I'm all right. I see. I'll show you the firing control for the dust screener first. Monsters are emerging from the dust circle. All staff on duty, intercept them immediately. We have an incursion. What's going on? It seems monsters have broken through the magic barrier. There's quite a number of them. God's gift. Can you fight? Definitely. I'll hold these ones off. You go to beat the ones up ahead. You all right? I'll be fine. Now go. Got it. Whoa! There's a ton of monsters up here, too. Here I go. Right! Here I go. Next. That's over with. We... we did it. Looks like you're done over here. Alec! Sorry, but I have to take part in dealing with the aftermath here. My tour is over. I'll take you to the dorms, at least. Indeed. <sighs> uh huh. Yeah.
All right. Morning. Ooh, nice uniform. I had a feeling a God's gift would get a special one. That's so cool. And you get to live in such a sweet pad, too. You're so lucky. Well, I better work hard so I get to live in a place like that, too. Definitely. Right. If we're going to be classmates, we should be getting along. Well, people do say that home is where you make it. There are a lot of disciples living in my dorm, so it's nice and lively. There are only S ranks at your place, right? Doesn't it feel empty? No. But just you watch. I'll be better than you in no time. You really think so? Morning, you two. Yesterday was rough, huh? Oh, yeah. You guys classmated yesterday. So, how was it? You guys have to tell me how it went. Uh, hey, uh, I think it's against the rules to ask about it, Claude. Really? Isn't it a holy ritual? Well, I'm just asking for educational purposes. aren't you? You just got here yesterday and you already have girls running up to talk to you? No. <laughs> Liar. What stranger would just run up to you like that and say hello? She was smiling and happy and everything. She was cute. <sighs> Maybe you've just forgotten about her. You think so? Oh, guys, I can see the academy. Whoa! Excuse us. Yes, may I help you? Ah. Oh, it's you, Klaus. Oh, you must be a ladies' man, too. You already have a cute girl calling you by name also. Um, it's not what it looks like. Am I missing something? I thought you had to wear a uniform here at this school. Oh, there's an explanation behind that. She may not look it, but Sis is a teacher here. What the? Thank you for looking after my brother. My name is Chloe, and I'll be in charge of your class. It's nice to meet you all. What, his sister is our teacher? And she's an S rank, too. And you're a fellow S rank, Luca. Isn't that right? Of all people, I had to get my own sister to be my teacher. How that's odd. I thought I told you before that I was in charge of the second year elite class. Oh, I think you may have mentioned that at some point. You're the same as always. I guess I still have to look after you. I am your older sister, after all. Stop treating me like a kid. You're only one year older than me. Hmm? My sister got excellent scores, skipped a few grades, and now she's a teacher. When she got her brand last year, she transferred to the academy to teach here. She may not look it, but she graduated with the top scores in her college class at 14. She wrote her thesis on battle tactics, too. That paper's been used by the government as an official manual for ground combat. Looks really are deceiving, aren't they? That part wasn't really necessary, Klotz. Well then, I'll be introducing you three to the rest of the class. Oh, and no sleeping during lectures, okay? So that's God's gift. Whoa. I thought only an S rank would become God's gift. Everybody's looking at him. It can't be helped. I mean, he is a God's gift, after all. All right, everyone settle down. You three can take your seats, too. Well, Vice President Narika, 
since the class president is out today, please start the day off for us. Uh, uh, yes, uh, everyone, please stand. Good morning, Miss Chloe. <sighs> you all right? Oh, it's just that I don't normally do the morning greeting, so I was kind of nervous. Yo. Yes. Yeah. It's... As you may all know, fire, aqua, what are the remaining two? They're ether. That's correct. It's also said that, however, the dust dusk is the element that the dusk circles are... Obviously, our star energy cannot be used in spaces without ether particles. That's why disciples cannot normally fight monsters within the dust circles. Two of the dust circles are already active close to here. Our comrades are fighting there day and night. Alec, you've been participating in battles against the monsters recently, correct? The number of monsters pouring out of the circles is increasing by the day. There have been many casualties as my own experiences that the same can be said about this. Even then, we've finally seen the light. This is because a God's gift has been granted to us. Oh. Now, because he can create his own ether field, the God's gift allows us to fight monsters even within the dust circles. Oh. On top of that, he's perfectly compatible with female disciples. His star conception rate with an s right disciple is 100%. Plot, that was uncalled for. But going into circles that no one has ever gone into, isn't that nerve-wracking? Yeah. You're an S-rank too, Narika? Oh, wow. Certainly. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Hey. Through that. Yep. See ya. Hey. Thank you. 